Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. This is Celso Batalha, Evergreen Valley College, Astronomy 10 Online, Spring 2018. And welcome to the course. This is your orientation. And um, let me go and open the course. First of all, I would like to apologize for all the scheduling and changing dates, but I was driving uh, back home to initiate uh, this orientation and I, there was an accident in front of us and basically I got home late. But um, this orientation will take about 30 minutes and what I would like to do is to show all the type of assessments that uh, we have in this course that you must do in order to pass the course. So first of all, uh, um, once you find the course following the instructions I send in syllabus, um, you are going to uh, be in this web page. And then <clears throat> you can uh, click here if you want to review the orientation video. So the orientation video I'm generating now. So if if I click there, it's not going to go anywhere. But um, you can always revisit this video once the class starts. I hope to have it uploaded by uh, tonight. And you can, um, you can go to modules where the course is going to be divided and pretty much structured. Um, you can always have an updated syllabus here. And I have a few extra credits. Uh, throughout the semester, and you can always access them here. But <clears throat> as I said, this course is organized in modules. Right? So you can go again to model modules uh, through here or through here. And uh, in the very first block, I have syllabus and the orientation video, which right now I don't have. It. But again, at, uh, by tonight, today on Friday, uh, the 26th, I will have it, um, the orientation video available. So what type of work you must uh, engage in this course to get a passing grade? and First of all, before I start showing what you need to do, I would like to tell you what you don't need to do, what you shouldn't do. What you shouldn't do is to think this course is, is very simple. You know, it's a layback course. Uh, okay, astronomy, what do we do in astronomy? Well, we look at the stars and we, we get to know, you know, what your astrological sign is and, um, and that's it. That's not. So astronomy, especially modern astronomy, is, is application of physics to understand how the universe works. It's based on lots of observations, and that's why we have telescope and powerful detectors to collect the light of objects that are close and objects that are far away. But basically, astronomy is a lot of physics. And and it follows uh, the scientific method in the process of building up knowledge. And I would try to remind you on and on and on that uh, the amount of information this course delivered implies that every week you're going to do a little bit of work. I understand the first week is complicated. Some students are dropping, some students are adding. Um, and <clears throat> there is a lot of diffusion going on and a lot of distraction going on in the first week, but I expect that by the second week, uh, you are doing consistent work every week. Now, uh, let's, let me show you the, the assessments that I have in this course. So the first assessment that I would like to introduce you is the so-called group discussions. It's mandatory and it's 10% of your course grade. So imagine your course grade is 100 points. So discussions will give you 10 points if done perfectly throughout the semester. 
So what basically consists on? So let's take, for instance, uh, one of these discussions. So usually discussions will run one week, right? And um, it's, there is always a seeded information. So for instance, this discussion is about astronomy, the difference between astronomy and astrology. And um, I would like to have your opinion um, about um, your understanding of both of them, but more particularly, your understanding of astrology, if you have any. Um, and this exercise is, is simple. Basically, what you do, you are going to um, uh, declare to your group what is your astrological sign. Either you know because some ast astrologer uh, told you so, or your parents told you so, or in, in your cultural background that information is given to you. Or if not, I have a web page, you can go and get that, right? So it's basically on, on the day of your birth. And I also uh, list uh, the days throughout the year, uh, which constellations the sun was visited in, in, in periods of one month, basically. Um, and then what you're going to do is to find if the, the, the constellations the sun was visit, visiting in a given month correspond to your astrological sign. If yes, great. If no, why not? And then we will generate a discussion. So it's all given in there. Um, and you can uh, just uh, type information uh, following whatever suggestion or format I give you. And then you post reply, basically. That's how you do it. Now, I read it, and I try to read every other day, or every day, if possible, uh, all the discussions, and I grade them. And I have a specific uh, method for grading, and I will post uh, suggestions to improve your, um, your post, basically. So, um, it's somewhat interactive, and at the same time, you are... Uh, supposed to interact with your group members on on the topic you are discussing. Uh, the first two discussion is is a discussion that is done to the entire class, but the others uh, discussions are made in smaller groups, and then you are going to interact uh, with your group members. So this is the first one. Usually, uh, these discussions, as you can see, they have a due date. So the first one is supposed to close on February 5th, and then the next one on February 20th. So you have due dates, and past due dates, I do not open them. So if you miss them, you miss them, okay? So make sure you, you, you participate. You cannot just let to complete mandatory work in the last month of class. You won't pass the class. Got it? So the second mandatory is the single one-on-one -on -one discussion. So this one-on-one -on -one discussions is one that you have with me, particularly. And in this discussion, I will uh, put seeds that require uh, some more detailed uh, use of information, physics primarily, in, in your discussion. For instance, uh, exploring night sky or diurnal motion um, those two will require that you download a planetary software in your computer. And then, and then you can run that software, and then I will ask uh, information about it. As you can see, I don't have as many one-on-one -on -one discussions yet, because depending on how uh, our interest grows, I will generate more, more of those. But basically, every week, you have a group discussion going on, which is those ones, and you have one on one with me, in which your other classmates will not see it, the results. All right? So, and, and again, 10% of your course grade. Now, 75% of your course grade will come from midterms. And then we have midterm one, two, three, um, and a final exam. So uh, let me talk about these midterms and final exam. They are proctored. 
So they are all proctor. Either you can come and and do this exam with me, and 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 I have, and and I will be available in a room that I have yet to establish uh, on Thursday. It's going to be on Thursday, and the dates are given in syllabus. So if you go to your syllabus here, if you open up. So, uh, and you, you scroll down to, to the calendar, um, you have the middle terms given in there, okay? Uh, it's always on Thursday, and March 1st is a Thursday, 4 p.m., and the room I will announce. So, uh, you have mid term 1, 2, and 3. Now, you... If you prefer, you can do you can do these midterms at home. But to do at home, you have to use uh, Google Chrome as your um, as your browser. And uh, Google Chrome has an extension called Protorio. Protorio. Let me show you that. that allows you to, to run the exam. Uh, oh, I think I cannot. Yeah, I, I cannot get it now. Um, yeah, it's, it's not uh, showing up now. But uh, this Proctorio software, um, can be used at home. You you must be um, alone. I allow that you bring one page of notes, and your computer has to have a camera attached or embedded, so that uh, the camera will keep track of your eye motion. You cannot uh, browse during the exam. You have to show your identification to the camera. It's kind of a it's it's kind of a weird in a way you know looks like a big brother uh watching you but that's that's the way it goes um we want to have our exams proctored and either you come and 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 be with me in a classroom or uh you can also if the the schedule 4 p.m does not work for you you can do in a tutoring center and in a tutoring center, and and for that you have to let me know in advance, so I can schedule that with uh, with the person in charge of the tutoring center, and then you can you can you can uh, do the exam there with that person. But you have to to let me know in advance. Okay, so you have either the option of doing at home using Proctorio, and but you have to have Google Chrome and you have to have a camera. Or you can uh, be with me or with somebody in the tutoring center. All this is true for all the midterms and final exam. But what is a makeup exam? A makeup exam is also a comprehensive exam that is going to be available a week before final, and it what what it what it does is the following: it it replaced the lowest score in midterms in case um, your makeup exam grade is 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 larger or bigger than than the lowest score in midterm, and then automatically replace. So you don't need to do it, but if you do it, you have the chance of of uh, replace lowest score in midterm. So usually students do if if they kind of uh, miss one exam um, or if. Um, they had a bad start, you know. Um, so midterms and final, 75% of your course grade. Okay. Now, homeworks. Uh, homeworks are quizzes. And these quizzes are available every week. So they consist on questions that cover the subject of our book. And I will talk about the book in a second. And uh, expect to have these homeworks um, every week, basically. Now, homework, 5% of your course grade, okay? And 
expect to have one per week. And once, um, once they close, they close. Now, only for homework, only for homework, I will open them all um, two weeks before the final exam so that you can review the subject and you can also improve your course grade if you want it. Does that make sense? So homework, 5% of course grade with midterm 75 makes 80%, plus 10 and 10 makes 100%. But we also have extra credit. So extra credit gives 10% additional points, which is a lot. Now, these extra credits, as you can see, I don't have a lot. Why is that? Well, because I will, I have some of them just to start, but I will fill the gaps with recently published uh, news release about scientific information on astronomy or astronomy related subjects, or is some important event going on, or is the, the visit to the observatory, I will, I will open uh, uh, more extra credit. Uh, again, these extra credits, they, they run for one week. And once they are closed, they are closed. And they are usually um, like this one-on-one -on -one discussion. You upload the file and then you discuss that with me. So the extra credit, you can improve your grade. As, as well as the grading discussions and one-on-one and -on -one discussions. So all this interactive uh, type of engagement and commitment to this class um, is, is done in such a way that you receive an uh, uh, introductory grade, but that grade can be improved if you, if you post more or if you correct what was not uh, completely right uh, and I will always tip and, and give suggestions um, for improvement. So that's why I will be logging in and reading your posts um, every other day, if not every day. And so the earlier you, you post information, the better. For instance, uh, extra credits, they close in general on Fridays, right? So they are all open, but... Uh, they close on Fridays, which means if, if you post things on Thursday evening, chances are I, I, I will grade it just once because I will not have time to read it the second time. Okay, uh, The discussions, like the single 101, they close on Mondays. So if you start putting up information on Tuesday, that's great. So then you have more chances of improving your grade to the point that you have a grade you like. Um, and the same group discussions also close on Mondays so that you have you know, a whole week to, to get them completed. Now, if you post your discussions on Sunday, um, probably I'll read on Monday and, and that's it, right? So no chances to get grades improved. Homework also closed on Monday. They close on Monday. I, I have the first of these homeworks and discussions closing on February 12. Oh, I have to fix this um, because I would like um, to give another week for you guys to adapt and, and so on, so on, so on. Okay. Now, the last thing I would like to show you is the reading material. So this book, this uh, course, use a uh, test test book that is free of charge. Uh, the book we are using is OpenStax. Let me show you. This one, astronomy. Now, this book you can either view online, so there, right? You can navigate, it's right there. You can go anywhere you want. 
or or you can or you can download the entire book in a PDF format. In fact, they have all kinds of books there if you want to check, check it out. So you can download in iBooks, in Kindle, or PDF. So if you download in PDF, you can go high resolution, low resolution. Um, in the low resolution mode, what is interesting, or high resolution, when you download the entire book, uh, the good thing is you can uh, have access to Let's wait. You can have access to uh, questions. For instance, if I go to the end of chapter two, section 2.5, 2.4, right? I can read the key terms. I can read a summary of the chapter, and, and I totally recommend. I recommend that you start reading the summary of a chapter, at least to have an overview of what's coming up. And, and then you have uh, all kinds of activities here. You have review questions. And, and in fact, uh, if you think about exams, some of the questions in the exam, I take it exactly from here. Um, so if, if you attempt to do those, it's good for you, okay? Let's go back to the course. But I can also, uh, what I did, I, I provided the sections that you're supposed to read in a week. I embedded those sections in your Canvas course. So if you want to just know exactly what you need, they are there. And then you can read in Canvas, basically. Okay, so it's all there. Uh, let me show you that. Oops. So you go in modules, and the last module, or next to the last module, is uh, the reading sections in the book of a given week. Here's the week number one, week number two week number three, week number four. So there is no getting lost, right? No getting lost. And finally, the last module is where I put a lot of uh, recommended, not recommended, just for the adventures, uh, all kind of uh, links to cool uh, simulations or free stuff that helps you to better understand astronomy, okay? So here is the question you have to answer me uh, by emailing me. So email me at celso.batalia at evc.edu answering the first, the, the following question. Do you know exactly what you have to do to pass the course? That's it. What should you do to pass this course? If you want to describe the assessments uh, that are included in this course. That's the question. So if you want to complete your orientation, answer this question in mailing me. What is the question? What should you do to pass this course? Or in other words, describe the type of assessments that I have in this course. Or in other words, do you, do you know what to do? Do you know how to navigate? And the last thing I would like to show is my syllabus. Every single change in the course, I will reflect that in the syllabus and upload it. Right? Um, how to communicate with me is given in there. And I can quickly talk to you through the Zoom it's right here, 
and grades will be posted as soon as I, uh, I, I can get my hands on it. Usually less than 48 hours, your grades are all updated. Especially remember the discussions. The discussions, I will grade it consistently every other day. If possible, every day I will read your uh, post and put a reply. Orientation, no-shows. So what is a no-show in an online class? Since this class is heavily listed, I cannot manage more than 60 students, 60 students, uh, which means I have to drop some of my uh, students who are not doing the work. So you are not a no-show if you email me with the answer to the questions I, I, I just asked. What should you do to pass this course? What are the assessments that exist that I posted in this course? Okay, so if you do that, you are, you are okay. Another uh, way, and, and, and I will do that too, is uh, I will look at your coursework in the first week of class, right? By Friday. And I will see if you are posting information. So if you are, which means you are actively working in this course, and then you are not a no-show. Then I will drop students who are not working, didn't do orientation, did it come to face-to-face -face orientation on Monday at 5 p.m. Um, in fact, it's Monday at 4 p.m. In, in, in room LE232. So it, if you didn't do the online orientation, but you went to the face-to-face, -face, you're good, right? You're good. Now, required book is here, is the OpenStax, and I already show you, it's all in our uh, Canvas course. Observatory has, Evergreen Valley College has an observatory, the Montgomery Hill Observatory. Please join the group in Meetup, in our Meetup doc page. Um, in, in our Meetup page, we have all the listed activities that go on in the observatory. Uh, our public viewing, stargazing. So just join us and it's always cool. Um, learning outcome, you're going to be tested on this subject. Um, basically, what are our courses basically on night sky and the base sky motions, earth rotation, earth revolution and precession, and what constellations are, what's the major cycles we go through, the moon cycles, and the solar cycles, so on, so on, so on. And then we move on to stars in general, and we um, identify what are the basic tools of astronomers. And after we learn a lot about the stars, we explore galaxies, what galaxies are, and the universe in large scale. Our course in Canvas are, uh, have been described already. We have the discussions that give 20% of your course grade. Homeworks, only 5%. We have a bunch of extra credit. Please do it. Extra credits are important. And uh, because not all of you are going to be involved with science, so you have to learn scientific method in this course and a lot of a content which goes with astronomy. Very important, do not do research copy and paste from internet. I zero the submission and I don't read it again, right? So write with your own narrative. Do not think that copy and paste and putting together sentences from different sites is a cool thing. It's not. And I zero right away. We have three midterms and a final exam. Now, if you are a STEM student and you are willing to uh, be a major in computer science, biology, or physics, or astronomy, uh, look at this opportunity in Kemper and Cowbridge. 
They are for students who want to uh, follow a path in the STEM field. Here's my grade policy, the calendar, and if you are a student in the, the uh, part of the disability support program, please send me your needs, your accommodation, your required accommodation by February 2nd. Okay? And pretty much that's it. Any question, please feel free to email me at any time. Have a nice day.